Shalom, family. God bless you all. Thank y'all for tuning in for today's proper tour, guys. And today we're at Coventry Homes at the Candela um, community. And we're going to be checking out the Briggs model home floor plan. So this is a four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, three car garage, 3,560 square feet, starting from the low 600s. So that's going to be right here, plan 6491. All right, and we're at Coventry Homes, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy this proper tour, guys. There is some music playing in the background from um, inside of the model home, so I just do apologize for that. Hopefully it's not too loud, guys, but let's step on in. And we have some guests inside, so I'm going to try to navigate through. That way I don't get them on camera. Okay. So as soon as we enter, we have this beautiful spiraling staircase leading to the second deck living room. Okay, and then as soon as we enter, we also have the, could be like a guest room here on the right hand side, right next to the door. Okay. For the abuelo, abuela, the primos, you know, the cuñados when they come into town, the in-laws, you never know guys. There you have it. That way they have their own room when they're downstairs. You know, because I don't know about y'all guys, but in my dad's house, my grandma, she's upstairs and, you know, she's, it's getting hard for her to come up and down the stairs. So, you know, that's why I think most of these guest rooms are starting to become downstairs because, it, you know, it can get pretty, pretty challenging getting up there. So... But my grandma's strong because, you know, she's a warrior through Christ. So, oh. I'm going to be right here. Okay. And then we have this beautiful open floor plan, high vaulted ceilings. Black countertops. Beautiful light fixtures. And look at this. Whoo. Sheesh. Come on now, what's going on here? Got the floor to ceiling windows. Got this beautiful fireplace there in the middle. And this is just beautiful. Just feels so open with all the windows. And you got these really nice light fixtures here. Black countertops. Hopefully I don't get hit with copyright with the music, so. All right, and then we got the gas range stove here with this very unique backsplash there. Okay. Let me show you guys one more time. All right. A lot of cabinet space. Okay. And then we got the wash and dryer room here. Okay. And then we got some extra closet space here. Okay. And now got the walk-in pantry, which is, this is huge. Look at that. This could be a whole room, man. Sheesh. All right, little formal dining area here. Man, I can't get over this, guys. Look, let me just show y'all one more time. Y'all need to appreciate this real quick and just see this one more time. The high ceilings. Man. Okay, so I'll show you guys the backyard real quick. Y'all already know when we get back here, it gets real. But we're not gonna come back here right now. We're gonna come back here in a bit. All right, we got your little grill. You got your little seating area for the carne asadas. You know, you're grilling up the pollo asado with the fajitas on deck. Ooh, come on now. Imagine me right now with a little spatula. Come on, just picture this right now. Tss, tss. I'm making y'all hungry right now, aren't I? And then you got your abuela making the homemade flour tortillas with the corn tor Ugh, Stop. Some chile, like some jalapenos on the side sliced up. Tss. Come on now, I'm talking to somebody. All right, let's go back inside. Okay. 
And I think we gotta head over now to the master. And there's actually an office here in the front corner, but um, they're using that right now, so. Okay, we got a half bathroom here. Okay, half bathroom right there. You know, for the little primos, whenever they want to use your restroom, be like, hey, Juanito, go downstairs. Go to the guest restroom. So you got this beautiful master suite. Whew, look at this. Look at all these windows, man. Wow. This is super gorgeous. And then you got the double vanity here. A lot of white cabinets. Uh, got a huge stand-up shower. Garden tub combo. I think we have another guest inside of the house. So um, I think she wanted to talk to me after the video. So I'm probably going to. See if I can navigate through her. She's, I think she's upstairs, so. Disregard, guys. I'm gonna try to move around the camera. So just a little heads up, but. Double vanity there. Kinda like a darker gray, charcoal gray countertops there. And then let me show you guys this. Wow. Okay, I think all the kids' rooms are upstairs. So the master and the abuela and abuela room are downstairs. One more time, guys. Sheesh. And then that's gonna be the office. Let's go upstairs. Okay. Got the second deck living room. Hang out with the familia, you know? And I like how you can overlook this right here. This is pretty cool. Wow. And then you got like a little media section here. That's nice. Wow. This is gorgeous. Okay, let me show you guys the additional bedrooms. Rebecca's room. All right. No, I'm sorry, this is Jimmy's room. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that in the background, but she saw me and I was like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm upstairs now. So she went downstairs because I told her, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to get you on camera. So um, I think she ran downstairs, but okay, let me show you guys the other. I think this is the last room. Little Miss Tabitha. Her room, nice and pink. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, this is pretty cool. Tabitha, what you got going here? She's got her own little secret room, her little prayer closet, you know what I mean? Ooh, come on, I'm, this could be like a little, I don't know where that leads to, but be a good like little little worship room there that'd be awesome <laughs> all right and then this is some like, additional closet space there or i'm sorry towel for the towels and whatnot okay guys well there you have it guys let's head on over to the backyard and we should be Jeez, let's get right into it guys well anyways guys thank y'all for watching today's proper tour guys as always be sure to hit that thumbs up be sure to subscribe and be sure to comment down below and follow us on tiki talks and instagrammies if you guys are going to reach us out please guys fill out the type form please fill out the type form that's the best way to get in touch with us guys um we do get a lot of dms and comments and everything and you know try to get to everybody 
um, but me and the wife, you know, praise the Lord Jesus Christ just because, you know, we get to these locations safely. All glory to Christ. But, you know, just keep us in your prayers, guys, please. The, the roads can get a little crazy out here in Texas. So just pray for us, for Armando and Pearl. And, you know, if you guys want to reach out to us, um, you guys can also hit us up on our personal Instagram, NavaFamilyTX. Um, you know, if you guys want to talk outside of the whole real estate, maybe you just want a fellowship. Um, so... We got some of you amazing people, just some amazing brothers and sisters just uh, messaging us on there. But uh, anyways, guys, let's get right into the message of today's video. Whoo, come on. Let's get it. Okay. Let's get right into it, guys. Okay. Second Peter 3, 9. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Whoo, amen. Praise the Lord. I said, listen, I always tell y'all. Remember, the Bible says that God will leave the 99 to find that one, and that one might just be you today. All right? He rejoices over that one loves you so much jesus christ loves you so much he doesn't want you to perish he wants you to come to repentance and seek him and follow christ to get out of the darkness and follow the light and that light is christ all right i'm telling you guys he loves you so much he's calling out to you but it's, the question is are you going to pick up that phone or are you just going to leave it there are you going to answer the call or are you just going to disregard this message and go back to living your wicked ways? What are you going to do? I know what I'm going to do, but that's between me and God. I'm on that narrow path. I'm going to stay on that narrow path. I'm going to endure to the end like the Bible says, through Christ. But the question is, what about you? What about you? Have you repented? Have you turned away? He loves you so much. He wants to stop living in the dark. Nothing good comes out of the dark. It's only temporal pleasures. Things in the dark is just temporary, guys. These worldly lusts. It's all temporary. But what's eternal is Christ and the kingdom awaiting us. For those who put their trust and accept Christ as their Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All right, sorry it's getting a little windy, but I just want to let y'all know, I'm going to keep it real simple in this video, is that Jesus Christ loves you, you watching this video right now, I'm talking to you, he loves you so much, he does not want you to perish, but come to repentance and follow him, but the question is, what are you going to do next with that, all right, seek his face, Follow Christ, repent of your sins, and stay on that narrow path. Trust me, I've been on that dark side. All of it, it's, I've been all, all over that. I was just wicked. But realistically, I was always, I, there's a void that it's never filled. A void that's never filled. But when I came to Christ, all glory to Jesus. I feel so much at peace. I'm thinking eternally. The worries and stress and tensions of this life is not, doesn't bring me down anymore. I give it to the Lord. I take it in prayer. I read my word. You become wise in the Lord. Not, not wise in, in, in human perspective, but wise in the spiritual, spiritually wise. So that being said, guys, Gotta turn away from sin, follow Christ. He loves you, he doesn't want you to perish. That's why he has me out here reminding y'all. And then you guys, my brothers and sisters, you gotta remind others. Spread the good news, that's what we gotta do. All right, there's a revival going on. We gotta start being bold for Christ and stop shying away. It's time to stand up and it's time to rise up against this darkness. We are the light of the world, the salt of this world. All right? Get on the winning team, not on the losing team, guys. Get on that winning team, that Jesus train. 
Choo choo. Hey, that cheese is trading. Oh, come on. That's the winning team. Y'all better be on that winning team. I'm going to stay on that winning team till the day. Hey, till my last breath. I've been on that losing team and it ain't nah. We know how the story ends, guys. So repent, turn away from sin, follow Christ. He loves you so much. God bless you and your families. Bye. -bye.